Hello. In this video, we are going to calculate the standard Gibbs energy for the dissociation of water at 25 degrees centigrade. First, recall that the Gibbs energy, delta G, is equal to the standard Gibbs energy, delta G naught, plus RT times the natural log of Q, where Q is the reaction quotient for the reaction. Now, at equilibrium, we know two important things. The first of these is that delta G is equal to zero. The second important fact is that the reaction quotient Q becomes the equilibrium constant K. Therefore, if we substitute these values into our equation up here, we get that zero is equal to delta G naught, the reaction quotient, the um, standard Gibbs energy, plus RT times the natural log of K, where K is the equilibrium constant. Now, if we subtract minus RT natural log of K from each side, we get an extremely important relationship between the standard Gibbs energy and the equilibrium constant. So delta G naught is equal to minus RT times the natural log of K. And this is one of the absolutely most important equations in all chemistry. Now, as an additional manipulation, we can divide each side by minus RT, and we get that delta G naught divided by RT minus is equal to the natural log of K. Now, if we raise each side as a power of E, we get the following relationship that the equilibrium constant is equal to E to the minus delta G naught divided by RT, which is an equivalent expression to the relationship that we have in the red box. Next, we want to look at the reaction, the dissociation of water. To form H plus and OH minus. The equilibrium constant for this reaction is given its own name, Kw, and its value at 25 degrees centigrade is 10 to the minus 14 power. So the temperature is equal to 25 C. Now, we can calculate the delta G naught for this reaction, since we know that delta G naught is equal to minus R times T times the natural log of K. R is the gas constant, and it has a value of 8.314 joules per Kelvin mole. Our temperature, in this case, is 25 degrees centigrade, which is 298.15 Kelvin. In thermodynamics, we always have to convert temperatures in Celsius to temperatures in Kelvin. And now we have the natural log of the equilibrium constant, which is 10 to the minus 14th power. 
Next, we use a property of exponents, which I'll put in the upper right-hand corner here. That's the natural log of a to the x is equal to x times the natural log of a. If we have a power, we can pull it in front of the natural log. If we do that, minus 14 times minus 1 gives us a positive 14 times 8.314 joules per Kelvin mole. times 298 Kelvin now times the natural log of 10 the natural log of 10 is equal to 2.303 so if we multiply all those things out and we make use of the fact that the units of Kelvin minus Kelvin cancel out we are left with 79,000 908 joules per mole. We use our conversion that there are a thousand joules in one kilojoule. This gives us 79.9 kilojoules per mole. So this gives us the delta G naught the standard Gibbs energy for this reaction. Now we notice it's a very large value and it's positive, which tells us that at 25 degrees centigrade, this reaction is not spontaneous. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.